The central problem in diabetes is the loss of our insulin producing cells that reside within the pancreas. And that loss leads to a rise in blood sugar and a host of complications over one's lifetime. Diabetes really just refers to that state of elevated blood sugar, and it turns out you can arrive at a state of diabetes from, from different pathways, different causes. Type 1 diabetes is a problem of the pancreas itself. It's due to a, a defect in the immune system. Somehow the immune system is fooled into thinking that the insulin producing cells in the pancreas are foreign. It's a reaction of self against self. It's not ravaging the pancreas as a whole, it's just selectively targeting this one cell type. This vital cell, which accounts for a very, very small percentage of the cells in the pancreas, is essentially required for anybody to control their blood sugar. For type 2 diabetes, the inability to make insulin comes about much, much more slowly over one's lifetime. It's often associated with poor food choices, inactivity, obesity. Type 2 diabetes is caused by resistance to insulin, so it's not a problem with the production of insulin, it's a problem with the tissues and the body's response to insulin. And most commonly that's because they gain weight, their body becomes less sensitive to insulin, and so they need more insulin. Therefore, the pancreas for years, if not decades, is cranking out excessive amounts of insulin to compensate the pancreas's lifespan with respect to its ability to work in overtime in this regard is limited. And so once that lifespan is reached, the pancreas function starts shutting down in a manner similar to that experienced by patients with type 1 diabetes. The end point is the same. In both cases, we're losing our insulin producing cells. Some of the complications that relate to uh, elevated blood sugar over time include such things as heart attacks and strokes, kidney complications, that can lead ultimately to the failure of the kidneys and the requirement of dialysis. Complications of blood vessels that feed the eyes, which can lead to dysfunction in vision and ultimately blindness if untreated. And problems with blood vessels and nerves that supply the limbs that can ultimately lead even to amputation if not addressed. Type 1 diabetes can occur at any age. We used to call it juvenile onset diabetes, but about 50% of new onset type 1 now occurs in individuals over age 18. Type 2 diabetes, we used to just call simply adult onset diabetes. We didn't see it in children and adolescents, but with the, the increase in obesity in our society, we, we do see type 2 diabetes, unfortunately, in younger and younger kids.